pioneer, leader, advocate. Betsy Plank not only broke the glass ceiling of the public relations industry, she shattered it, then boosted countless others to follow in her wake. Known as the First Lady of PR, this University of Alabama alumna entered the field when it was on the verge of becoming the industry as we know it today. She was a pioneer not only for women, but also for the entire industry. Betsy served as Executive Vice President of Edelman before becoming Director of Public Relations Planning at AT&T, and later Director of External Affairs at Illinois Bell, a first for a woman. And that was a first among many firsts. She also became the first woman president of the Publicity Club of Chicago, and later PRSA. She was the first person ever to receive three of the PRSA's top individual honors. The Gold Anvil awarded to the nation's outstanding professional, the Lund Award for Civic and Community Service, and the Jackson Award for Distinguished Service. She was also honored with the first Arthur W. Page Society's Distinguished Lifetime Achievement Award, as well as the Institute for Public Relations Hamilton Award. Betsy's passion was for PR education, what she called a lifetime love affair with students. She played a central role in the establishment of PRSSA and was a co-founder of Friends of PRSSA, now known as Champions of PRSSA. In 1987, Betsy co-chaired a national commission to develop guidelines for an undergrad PR curriculum and served on PRSA's accrediting teams at several universities. Two years later, the PRSA Foundation established the Society's first-ever scholarship endowment fund in her name. Since then, the Betsy Plank Scholarship Endowment Fund has helped students at more than 40 colleges nationwide achieve their dreams of earning a PR degree. Betsy's legacy is most visible in the countless PR professionals, educators, and students who credit her with taking the time to mentor them throughout her career. Her focus on others led to her becoming the most individually recognized woman in the industry, a testament to the value of selflessness and professionalism. Betsy has given back to the University of Alabama in countless ways. In recognition of these contributions to the university and the industry, in 2005, the trustees of the University of Alabama established the Planck Center for Leadership in Public Relations the University of Alabama's own Betsy Plank. Pioneer, leader, advocate. First Lady of Public Relations, indeed. God bless and Godspeed. Two words, mother, him, and we're all so glad she was. I always loved her ingenuity and one of the things that I was most proud of is when she decided to put the president of the National PRSSA chapter on the Planck Center. That means we always knew what young people were thinking about the business. That was smart. Betsy took a group photo at every Planck board meeting with a disposable camera. A permanent record with a disposable product. I think Betsy always got the last laugh. You know, we all have our moments in time with people and I had mine with Betsy. I can remember the Friday afternoon when I drove her down to Tuscaloosa. I asked her what she wanted for dinner when we arrived, and she looked at me and said, Honey, all I want is a hamburger and a cigarette. That was Betsy Blank.